Hey, good morning. I'm James with Thor Motor Coach. I'm here at North Trail RV Center in Fort Myers, Florida, and I'm here today to walk you through our new Magnitude XG32 Super C. So our Magnitude line uses a 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8. We have a 4x4 powertrain on the XG32, comes standard. The 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 from Ford has 330 horsepower and 750 pound-feet of torque. So there's a ton of power in this model, plenty for towing anything or carrying anything that you would need. We have a 10,000 pound hitch. It'll tow all 10,000 pounds. You can load this unit up, still tow 10,000 pounds and be well within all your weight ratings. We waited until we could get the Ford 2019 chassis for the XLT model. And there were some, some really big changes in this. Um, one of those was actually going to a military grade aluminum alloy body. So this helped save a lot of weight on the front cab portion. We redesigned everything up here with a seamless one piece cap. We've done some custom skirting, painting, the side steps that are on this model, and it really ties it in nicely together with the full body paint package. This unit here is done in jewel tide. We have two options, there's silver springs and jewel tide. This is my personal favorite here with the burgundy. So one of the other options we've got on this, we've got 19 and a half inch aluminum alloy wheels. These are a forged aluminum wheel. Just really ties everything together nicely on the Ford Super Duty N. So if you come down the side, you can see that we've got a double slide on this XG32. So there's a bedroom slide, we've got our main living area slide. We added in a front window to bring in some natural light to the living room. We'll be able to see that when we go inside a little bit better but that really helps to bring in some natural light to that overhead bunk. So with this chassis, one of the reasons that we're using this, we do a lot of business with Ford, but when we're looking at the actual frame of this unit, it has a high strength steel frame, and we partner with a company called Moride International. And what Moride International does for us is custom chassis upfitting. So our engineers are working with their engineers to design a foundation, and we have an exclusive true flat floor foundation, and what we do when we send that out is Moride does the extension for us. They also build the whole platform that the rest of the motorhome is gonna ride on. And the reason that's so important is because of the weight distribution, the ride and the handling. We know where all of the weight is gonna be in this model and they're able to compensate for that. They're using steel I-beams that run the length of the coach and everything has been leveled down below and it provides a, a true proper foundation for us to build the rest of the motorhome on. When you take that into account and the way that we order this from Ford, it's one of the best riding models out there. This cab right here actually happens to be one of the safest RVs on the road. We have front driver and passenger airbags, side airbags on the seats, and then we also have side curtain airbags that are standard equipment on this model. So on our patio side, we've got two extra large storage compartments. And what's nice about these double door storage compartments is that we've incorporated those in, into one instead of having two smaller separate compartments allowing you to put coolers, chairs, anything else that you might need to bring with you. Down below we're using rotocast plastic and the rotocast plastic really the benefit of that is that it's easy to clean, it doesn't mold or mildew, and we actually put a small drain plug in the back of each of those compartments so you can wash that out, rinse it out, we know that's going to pick up some dirt and grass and anything else that allows you to keep those nice and clean and it provides strong, stable storage down below. Our outside entertainment system here is standard equipment. We have this on every magnitude model. So we have a 32 inch exterior TV that's paired with a Bluetooth soundbar and you have the TV audio through the soundbar or you can connect that to your phone or use it as a radio. This here is actually on a magnetic mount. So we can pull this out and we can spin this and get an optimal viewing angle wherever we're seated. We have a 110 volt outlet on the outside Right above that is your fresh water fill for the tank. We've got another double wide storage compartment here, it has the rotocast plastic drain plug down below. Now all of our models are outfitted with a propane quick connect. And the propane quick connect allows you to take a portable grill, you can hook that up and, and do some steaks or chicken or burgers or whatever you'd like to do outside. We have a 68 pound propane tank that's mounted here on the passenger side. So on the back, we do a molded one piece fiberglass cap and the molded cap really helps to tie all this together nicely. We don't have the seams, it doesn't create the maintenance that it normally would. So having this all as one piece really ties this thing together nicely. We do put a rear roof ladder as standard equipment. So we talked a little bit about the hitch earlier. We have a true 10,000 pound towing capacity 
Our seven pin wiring plug that's here is paired with an integrated brake controller that's in the cab. So you're all prepped to tow, everything is set up and ready. So this is standard with 50 amp service. Have your 50 amp cord back here, another Rotocast storage compartment. There are dual fuel fills, which is a little bit different in this model. There's actually two fuel tanks. So you have 68 gallons of total fuel capacity for diesel. There's a rear tank and a front tank. Both of those fills are on this side. We do have another storage compartment here with the Rotocast. And if you notice, all of these are lighted. So there's actually one button inside, or you can do that from a remote app, but it'll turn on all of the lights for the cargo compartments, allow you to see what you're doing down below, and they're on a 15 minute timer. So you don't have to worry about leaving those on all night. It'll automatically shut off for you. So this is our Girard tankless water heater. We're using a Girard third generation propane tankless water heater. If we open this up, you can see inside. So what's great about this, is that this heats up so quickly. You can set your master temperature. There's a control panel inside the bathroom that you'll see. So from the time you turn this on, inside of about a minute or so, you've got hot water coming out to your shower, your sink. You can take super long showers, never have to worry about running out of hot water. So if you've got multiple people that are gonna need to use the shower back to back, this is a phenomenal feature here. Down here we have an outside shower, our low point drains, we have a tank flush system, and you have both your black and your gray tank dump valves. So down below we have our Onan diesel generator. It's a 6,000 kilowatt diesel generator, and that is paired with our automatic generator start function. So we'll take you through that a little bit later and show you how you can program that generator. But that provides plenty of power for your air conditioners, appliances, anything else that you'd need to run in the motorhome. The armless awning that we have on this side is a one-touch motion-activated awning. So you notice you don't have the bars that run down the side. This actually has the motion sensor, so it's designed to retract if there's a large gust of wind that moves through to help protect the awning. It's also a one-touch, so when you want to put that out, you tap the button one time. When it's time to bring it back in, tap it once more and it'll retract itself all the way. In this compartment here, we have the motor and the hydraulic fluid reservoir. We have an automatic four-point leveling jack system. The controls are inside the motorhome and you can access everything here, including the motors on the outside. So the kitchen in the XG32 is actually one of my favorite features. There's a couple things that I'd like to point out. So we start by doing a one piece solid surface countertop and it's easy to clean, very easy to maintain. Um, if it ever gets scratched or damaged, this can actually be filled or refinished. So very durable, very easy for cooking. And we've actually got these matching sink covers. So there's a nice deep double bowl stainless sink that we're using. Both of these sink covers here will give you some additional counter space for food prep or serving, anything like that. So we've got a nice stainless faucet here. This actually has the pull out extension, single handle to make it very easy. We did manage to get a countertop pop-up outlet here in the back. So that's a nice little hidden feature. It gives you a couple extra plugs. You can plug in your coffee pot or crock pot or anything there. Push that down and hide it away. Over here on the back, we've got a glass and tile decorative backsplash just to help make that easier to clean. You can wipe that off a little bit easier. So we're using a 30 inch residential convection microwave and there's all kinds of delicious meals that you can bake using a convection microwave because if you notice here, we've actually done away with the oven. And in place of that, we've got a nice pull out storage organizer. Um, this is all nicely finished. Plenty of extra space for your pots, pans, dishes, any additional things you'd like to bring with you. So this slides back in here. We can close this off. And on the Thor Motor Coach YouTube channel, there's actually, under mobile meals, there's quite a few different recipes that they'll show you how to make step-by-step. Step. Um, that's a great starting point if you're not familiar with convection. And I think that's, uh, that's definitely something that's worth a look. You might come up with some new ideas and some new recipes. This is one of my personal favorite items here. So we're using a combination electric induction and gas cooktop. And what's, what's great about this is you have the best of both worlds. So we have a commercial style double burner propane cooktop. If you're going to be boondocking or dry camping, that's definitely the way to go. And as we saw earlier, we do have the propane quick connect that's outside. So the electric induction, if you're not familiar, is actually using an electromagnetic field from this to heat the pan directly. So you're gonna be using magnetic cookware. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, but as long as it's magnetic, it'll be compatible with this. And it's very quick, very efficient. It's actually heating the pan directly. So if you're gonna be plugged into shore power, if you're at a park or a resort, and you don't wanna use your propane, this is a very efficient way to cook. 
and we're starting to see this in a lot of homes. So it's something that we wanted to bring to the RV side. This gives you the best of both options here. A lot of units are using a traditional six to eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. And one of the things that we always hear in terms of feedback from our customers is that they always want more fridge space. And it's, it's tough to fit everything, especially if you've got the family with you or you're gonna be gone for a week or more. It's a little bit tough to fit everything in those smaller refrigerators. So in the magnitude, we started using a 16 cubic foot Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerator. So tons of shelf space, very deep storage. You got a lot of storage here in the door three different drawers that are inside. And if we look in the freezer portion, we have an ice maker. And I know a lot of people bring the portable ice makers and they're taking that along with them. This is one less thing that you have to bring with you. It's so nice to have that integrated just like you'd have at home. So again, we've got a 16 cubic foot Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerator. This is paired to an 1800 watt inverter. So we have two house batteries that come standard with the unit and we have an 1800 watt inverter, it's pure sine wave, and uh, that'll allow you to run this without having to run the generator. So while you're traveling, while you're on the road, if you need to run it overnight, you can use that inverter to power the refrigerator. While we're on the kitchen portion, we have a nice double pantry. So you can open this up. This is about a foot deep and you've actually got four shelves here. And if we open up the top portion, you've got another extra tall shelf on the top. So if you wanna put some cereal boxes or some additional uh, storage up there, and then this runs top to, top to bottom here. So as we step into the bathroom, we have a nice curved glass shower door. You've got plenty of elbow room, plenty of space to move around. We've got a stainless steel adjustable spray faucet, plenty of headroom even for our tallest customers. And around the side, we've actually got four cabinets. So the four cabinets that are in the bathroom give you plenty of extra storage space, especially if we've got two people going. Um, I know it's always nice to have that extra counter space in the bathroom that's got a stainless steel sink. There's even some storage shelves down below on the side for some extra necessities. We use a full bowl porcelain toilet, nice solid base, has a foot flush mechanism. And over there next to the counter where you'd have your towels hanging, we have the control module for our tankless water heater. As the control panel you see next to the sink, that's actually for our Girard third generation tankless water heater. And we've been using that for a couple different model years. It's fantastic, you turn that on, you set your master temperature, give that about 60 to 90 seconds for that to heat up. And as long as you've got propane in this coach, that's gonna be cooking and providing hot water for you. So you'll see a little sticker in the bottom of the mirror uh, that I always laugh at. It says, smell that, of course you don't. And so one of the little things that a lot of people don't see on our models that we're building is we're using a 360 siphon vent cap. And it's for the holding tanks, both your black and your gray holding tank. And that's actually a patented design from Lippert. Now, that little cap that goes on the top of it, not only does it prevent things from going down into the holding tanks from the top, but that actually creates a Venturi effect. And what it does is it forces fresh air into your holding tanks when you're going down the road, or even if we're sitting here today and we've got a breeze moving through, and that allows fresh air and oxygen to get into the holding tanks. It pushes the fumes that would come out of that, out of that tank, instead of that coming back through your coach. So it's definitely something you'll appreciate when you're traveling. It's a little thing that you don't see, but it's something that we're using that I think everybody. So if we step over here into the living area, um, one of the things that we always hear from customers is where the TV is located in relation to the seating area. And we have standard theater seating. These actually have recliners. This has been a huge request for us from customers for the last couple years. So we have standard theater seating. It's got the cup holders. It has a little bit of storage here in the middle so you can put your remotes and some extra things down in there. So right across from that, you have your living area TV. And it's really nice as far as the viewing angle. You don't have to move it. You don't have to swing it out and turn your head and sit at an odd angle. You're directly on. And that's right over our booth dinette. So with our dinettes, we call this a dream dinette and we call it a dream dinette because it's a 70 inch sleeping area. So very easily you can release this table, push this down and we can actually take these back cushions that are here, set those in the middle and we've created a nice size bed. Down below we do have some additional pull out storage because that's always so important. Now on the back of this seat here on the forward facing position in addition to the two seat belts that we have we're using a child safety tether. And this is one of the options on these models. I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you have somebody that's gonna be bringing some little ones, uh, maybe it's family, maybe it's friends, but you can actually use this here on the tether and there's a locking 
latch system in order for you to put in a child safety seat. Now looking around, I think everybody, one of the first things that they're gonna notice is the cabinetry. And I love the cabinetry in this, this magnitude line. So we have two different colors. This here is the Pacific, and we have another one that's just a tad bit lighter, and that's called our Amherst. And we're using solid hardwood maple cabinetry. So if you look, all of your end caps, all of your doors, they have the nice hidden hinge hardware. But this is all solid wood. All of your styles and trim pieces and end pieces, everything else in this, there's no wrapped wood and there's no pressed wood. So even for some of our trim in the kitchen and some of the other areas, they have solid wood veneer paneling in addition to the hardwood cabinetry. We do this in a nice high gloss finish. Really brings everything nice and bright in here. And I think it really ties everything in nicely. We want this to feel like a luxury Super C. Uh, we, we don't want things to feel you know, utilitarian and, and we really want to tie this all together nicely as a high-end model. Over here next to the door, we have some additional storage. This is a great broom and coat closet here. So there's a couple hooks. You have a double-sided. You can you know, keep a couple cleaning supplies in here, a rain jacket, umbrellas. That's great to have right inside the door. So if we look at the overhead bunk area, the sleeping space is so important in any of our models. In this front bunk section, we're using a 59 by 80 sleeping area. The sleeping space is so important in all these motorhomes. Um, and we wanted to utilize this uh, the best that we could. So if you notice, there's windows on both sides and we're using our powered Skyview shade system. This is great because you can see it right now, it's letting a lot of natural light in. A lot of the bunks, when you see them over the top, it feels kind of dark and gloomy and there's not a lot of light in there. Um, this just really opens it up. And if you've got a beautiful sunrise or sunset or it's a perfect starry night out, it is awesome to be able to have, you know, lay up there in the front and look out. Um, especially great for kids. I mean, they just think that is the coolest thing to see that up across the top. They've actually put in a little blue light, I call it the mood lighting or a night light, um, but that's great to be able to leave on. It doesn't disturb you when you're sleeping. You can turn all of these overhead lights off and just leave this on. Provides a nice little night light if you need to get up in the middle of the night. Um, this mattress area that's across the top is actually 59 by 80. So if you know your mattress sizes, uh, 60 by 80 is a queen size bed, so we've got plenty of room. You can definitely sleep two people over the top. There's a 500 pound weight capacity, so you can, you can comfortably get a couple folks up there. And we've made this in such a way that this piece will actually lift up and move back. So when you're going to be traveling, you can get that out of the way. It gives you a little bit more headroom and makes it easier for you to get in and out of the cab. If we take a look up, we're using a soft touch vinyl ceiling. Just a nice little touch kind of helps with the, the noise dampening and you don't hear uh, as much noise throughout the coach. For our air conditioners, we have a Coleman Mach series. We have dual 13,500 BTU ACs. That's powered by your 50 amp service or your 6,000 kilowatt Onan diesel generator. So on our windows, on select windows, we have the dual shades. We're using the roller privacy shades on all of our models. And then on your living room windows, we have a dual solar shade. So you can actually pull this down. It helps to cut back in the amount of heat and light that's coming into the coach during the day, but you still get the natural light coming in. And then we can take this nightshade and pull this down for privacy in the evening. We've got nice finished uh, window lambrequin fixtures. These are custom done. We have three different decor options in this model. Um, currently we have waterfall, we have black diamond, and we have stargazer and that'll change out the fabrics over the window, um, some of our decor options for the surfaces and the floors, and then also the bedding that's on the back. So we have a little sticker here, and this is something that I'd like to talk about. We can't see it because it's up on top on the roof, but Wi-Fi has been one of the biggest things that we've gotten questions about over the past couple of years. And I know that everybody has their phones and their iPads and their laptops, um, and there's a lot of people that are working remotely or they just wanna stay connected while they're traveling. Um, I know for me personally, I love to be able to stream shows and movies while I'm on the go. So one of the things that we've done for 2020 is put in a WineGuard Connect 2.0 system. So this is actually a dome that's up on the roof of this unit. It's already connected, ready to go, and it's a three-in-one. So you have your over-the-air TV antenna from WineGuard. It's their best performing model that they have on the market. It has a 55 mile range. That'll pick up all of your local channels over the air, uh, standard definition and high def. So we no longer have a little omnidirectional antenna that you would push in and tune that way. You still have your antenna booster that's over the theater seating that you'll turn on for local channels or turn off for cable. 
The other part of this is the Wi-Fi extender. So this has a built-in Wi-Fi extender that performs up to one mile and that range allows you to be able to connect to either an open available Wi-Fi network or let's say a park campground if they have you in a site that's far enough away from the clubhouse that your device wouldn't be able to pick that up you can utilize the Wi-Fi extender that's built into this model and be able to access that and you know also if you pull off on an exit and you wanted to use the Wi-Fi that was available at a Starbucks or a McDonald's that's available to you as well and both of those for the TV antenna and the Wi-Fi extender are free of charge. So the third item that's included as part of this WineGuard system is the 4G LTE hotspot and this is absolutely huge because we want to be able to stay connected anywhere. We don't want to have to rely on somebody else's Wi-Fi and it's also secure and nice to have our own dedicated network. So whether you want to hook this up to smart TVs or an Amazon Fire Stick or your laptop or your iPad, this is absolutely perfect. So you can en enroll if you would like and we have an annual or monthly plan available through WineGuard and Togo and this system will give you your own personal 4G LTE hotspot. There is a SIM card port that's already installed in this unit, so you can scan a QR code, sign up through the app, and you've got your own 4G LTE hotspot anywhere that you go. In all of our Magnitude Super C models, we're using a multiplex wiring system. And what a multiplex wiring system is, is it's one main unit that controls multiple different functions in the motorhome. And in this case, we have almost every function of the motorhome that can be controlled through this panel and also through a compatible mobile app that's on your phone. And that'll pair via Bluetooth. But really with, with this system here, it's like having an iPad on the wall of your motorhome. So all of our controls, we have our master light controls, we have our tank level monitoring, we have our climate control, we have our battery levels, our generator. If we go over here to our lighting, we can press that. We can turn individual lights on and off and some of these lights for our living room, bedroom, and hallway are actually dimmable. All of the lighting in this motorhome is LED, so it burns a little bit cooler, bulbs last a lot longer, but you have all your controls. We can also hit one button and turn all of the lights off. Our climate control function allows you to put it on automatic low or high. You can set either your front or your rear air conditioner. That's all done from this panel or your phone. Our next function for the ceiling fans, we have a kitchen vent fan that has a power open and close. You can turn that on here so you don't have to either use a broom handle or get on a step stool to use that. Our slide function, when we move over to this, there's actually a diagram that's shown here of your motorhome. So it shows the exact floor plan that we're in and this makes it so much easier to know which slide you're putting out. These are labeled instead of just saying slide one, two, and three, you know exactly which slide or which awning you're operating. Now in this case, we have a double slide. We have our bedroom, we have our living area, and we've got our front power awning. And finally, we have our automatic generator start settings. So with the Onan diesel generator that we're using in this unit, we have that paired with an automatic generator start system. And what automatic generator start is, is programming that allows you to control when your generator runs, when it turns on, when it turns off. So we always talk about time, temperature, and voltage. So the time function is designed primarily for quiet hours. We know a lot of campgrounds have quiet hours that you have to turn your generator off and you're not able to turn them on again until the following morning. So from this screen here, we can actually program this and say, okay, we'd like this to shut off at 10 o'clock at night and we'd like this to go ahead and come back on at eight o'clock. You can program that however you'd like. As long as there's fuel in the tank, that generator will cycle on and off accordingly. We also have that done by voltage. So we talked about having an 1800 watt inverter. We have dual house batteries. Just in case those batteries start to run low, you can program this. It's a smart, smart generator really is the best way to think of it. And you can say that, okay, once the batteries, if they start to run low, this generator will go ahead and turn on, run until those batteries are charged back up. Now, the final portion is for the temperature. And that's based off of what you have your air conditioning temperature set at for the interior and that'll allow the generator to go ahead and cycle on and off if you either lose power in the RV or the temperature inside starts to rise. So that's huge. If you're gonna be traveling with pets, if you've got dogs, cats, birds, I think I've seen it all, but if you have them with you, um, that's a very important function for you to know about. And it's very easy. You can do your settings, enable this, and know that if you're gonna leave your motor home that everything's gonna be safe. So inside the door, we have a little box and the, the box that we've got here says Go Power. So this is something that a lot of people overlook. I know it's becoming more and more popular and 
with us being in Florida here, I think the uh, we've got plenty of sunshine to be able to make this worthwhile. So we've put in a solar charge controller and this has full solar prep. So there's a port that's up on the roof and it's ready to go for up to 200 watt solar panels. They're compatible with the GoPower models. They make a flex panel that follows the contour of the roof. Very, very easy to install. Uh, when we say plug and play, it really is. Once the panel's on, you can take that cord, plug it directly in, and have dedicated solar charging, trickle charging to the batteries. So once you plug that in, you'll have trickle charging directly to your house batteries. In addition, you have a 220 amp alternator when that's running and the vehicle is running, that's also charging your house batteries. And of course, we did talk about the automatic generator start to make sure that you don't have any battery issues. So on all of these panels, these are the remote panels for the multiplex wiring system. And these are actually a wireless panel. So instead of having to run wiring through all of the walls and floors, this comes off. It's operated by a coin cell battery. And this will allow you to do your controls for lighting and several other functions throughout the motorhome. We have these throughout the living room, kitchen, inside the entry door, also in the bedroom and bathroom. So one of the functions here, we talked about the Skyview power shade that was up front. So we can actually use this to close the shade remotely. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this down and close that off across the front. So as we come back here into the bedroom, we have a queen size bed that's standard in the XG32, provides plenty of sleeping area, and because this is on its own slide out, you'll notice that there's space to walk around all the way on either side of the bed. So one of the great things about using a Ford F550 chassis is that we get all the goodies that you would have in any of their new vehicles. So they went through and updated this cab. They put in some really cool things. So if you notice on the steering wheel, you have all of your controls for audio, the driver input screen, and you can also adjust your cruise control directly from the steering wheel. This is equipped with a torque shift, select shift, six speed automatic transmission, and that has the tow haul mode incorporated into that. So we talked a little bit about the towing. You have your integrated brake controller, you've got your seven pin plug on the back, and then your tow haul mode. As part of this, we have the integrated engine exhaust braking, and there's an on, off, and automatic setting that'll allow you to save your brakes if you're gonna be going up and down different hills. That's a great way to be able to save your brakes and rely on your engine braking system. In the center, we have our eight inch touchscreen and there's all kinds of different features that are packed into this. So with the touchscreen that's on the dash, you can see it right now, you have your navigation function that comes with the Sirius XM uh, live for your mapping, your traffic, your weather, really is a great system. So you have your integrated GPS. You do also have, of course, your radio function. This comes with a six month trial subscription for Sirius XM satellite radio, that's built in. And one of my favorite personal features is your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Um, I absolutely love that. You take your charging cable, you plug it into your phone and all of your messages, your phone calls, uh, your music, everything else is integrated right into that screen through built-in software. Uh, that is just absolutely phenomenal. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is plug in your phone um, that's, that's really becoming one of the, the fastest growing features in any of the new passenger vehicles today. I love the fact that we've got that standard on the magnitude. So the four wheel drive function is controlled by a knob uh, just below the air vent on the right side of the steering wheel. And that knob will allow you to go ahead and take it from two wheel drive to four high or four low. So these are a shift on the fly. It's an electronic shift on the fly function that allows you to go ahead and run that into the four wheel drive without having to do anything else. That part is automatic. We have two locking glove boxes up in the front, so there's some nice extra storage. We've got a nice custom cup holder and phone tray that's between the seats. If you look up top, we've got a separate screen where we've integrated your backup camera and your side view cameras. So the side view cameras are signal activated anytime that you go to change lanes that allows you to view it up on that screen. What I really like is the fact that it doesn't take your screen off of your navigation or radio function or if you have it hooked up to CarPlay. It allows you to keep those separate and allows you to see what you're doing without having to lose sight of your navigation or anything else. You can also manually select with that screen and you can leave it on either one of your side cameras or you can leave that set on your backup camera. So if you are gonna be towing a trailer or you have a tow vehicle behind you, it allows you to keep an eye on that while still keeping your eye on your navigation and being able to control your music. 
So we talked, we talked a little bit about the 6.7 liter power stroke V8 that we have. In addition to that, you do have a torque shift, six speed select shift automatic transmission. This is developed by Ford. It's a heavy duty transmission that they use, it has an automatic tow haul function, very, very efficient. As part of this XLT package, we do have the secure code system from Ford. We have an eight way power driver seat here in the front. And if you'll notice off to the side, I know it might be a little tricky to see, but you have your side cameras. And so there's rear and side cameras when you're changing lanes or you need to be able to see down the side of your motorhome. That's actually activated by your turn signal. So anytime you're gonna go change lanes, that'll actually appear on the rear view monitor that we have in the cab. So you have your eight-way power driver seat, leather front driver seats. This little system right here is actually called Mobileye. This actually has collision warning, pedestrian and cyclist warning, lane departure indicator, and it also has the speed limit indicator. Again, this is James Nujar with Thor Motor Coach. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. I want to thank North Trail RV Center for having me out here to take you through our new Magnitude XG32. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to their channel. They have all kinds of wonderful videos to take you through any of the units that they have here at the store.